Hey, welcome back, Vault Dwellers. I bring you news from the PTS today, and it's actually pretty exciting, and I know you've probably heard it going around. So, let's just jump in, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Well, Vault Dwellers, they have finally done it. Bethesda's made it where we can scrap legendaries. We get legendary particles now. This is from scrapping your legendaries. I'm going to walk you guys through this. This is about what I've found. Everything I've found, we should say. So you're going to want to take a legendary item. And you're going to want to scrap it. Just like you would a regular weapon to learn a mod. When you scrap this legendary weapon. You have a chance. A small chance to learn one of the mods. That is on that legendary item. Now earlier. When I was doing this. You know because I pre-recorded this. I was going through here and I was just scrapping all these and I've, I've started noticing that some of the like named weapons won't really give you a mod that often. Now I took an exploding weapon and I scrapped it and I actually got the explosive mod off it and it was actually simple. Now I don't know if that's going to be every time but you're, what you're going to want to do is make your way to any workbench and you're going to want to scrap any legendary that you find and you have a chance to get one of the three mods now i have gotten the bloody from this i've gotten the exploding i've gotten i believe it was the overeaters i've gotten quite a few but you are going to need quite a few weapons to do this this is not going to be easy it's not something you're going to get all at once you are going to have to work for this you're going to have to go out and get legendaries of course and scrap it. You see that? I got the juggernauts. There's the explosive. And I will show you guys where they go. Now, keep in mind, these legendary particles are in your junk. So if you're carrying them, you die. They will go into your bag. And they are droppable. They are tradable. So, like I said, keep that in mind. But I had a lot of legendaries that I saved up. And I'm just, you know, this is a PTS, so you will see me scrapping god rolls and stuff, but it's okay because it doesn't matter. It doesn't carry over into adventure. Um, there's other people here as well that has been playing with these mods and having fun. We're going to get to the explosive mods for the energy weapons, and we're going to get more into that. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about that. Um, a lot of people are are really curious about how that's working if they're bringing back you know the legacies and you know i will honestly i will show you guys but we'll get to that but right now like i said we're, we're working with these mods so you've noticed i've went through here and i've scrapped a lot of weapons a lot of three stars honestly and I've only got maybe about five or six mods. And I've probably scrapped, uh, I'd say about 35, 40 weapons. So it's not too bad. But it shows us that there will be a grind still to get these mods. Or you will have to trade for them. And that's one of the things that they mentioned in the PTS notes. I also want to note that it takes quite a few legendary modules to make this. At least 30. And when I roll a weapon, you know, it's going to give you, or when you should say you roll a weapon, it's going to give you that random 3 star mod. And then from there, you can adjust the mods. And, I mean, it's very nice now that, you know, because this is honestly what one of the things that we thought we was going to get when it was coming to legendary crafting. We thought, hey, that we'll be able to take that mod off, re-roll it. Well, it's kind of still like that. We just got to go get the mod. And I don't think it's going to be that hard, personally. So, I believe this is going to go the right route for fallout 76 now don't hate me i know a lot of people are not gonna like this 
And that is fine. We all have our own opinions. Well, look at it this way. You do eviction notice. You get all those three-star legendaries. What do you do with them now? Well, now you can actually scrap them three-star legendaries. And that is very convenient. And that is something I've been waiting a long time. Because I throw them away all the time. I leave them in boxes everywhere. So, to get something out of it is going to be very nice. Now, now the mods are going to be tradable. So, you'll be able to drop them, put them in your vendor, and you should be able to sell them to players. That's one of the things that they brought up in this patch note right here. I also want you to keep in mind that once you add a mod to a weapon... It will character lock that weapon. So you will no longer be able to trade that weapon. Put it in your vendor. Sell it. The only thing you'll be able to do is scrap it at a bench. Scrip it in the machine. Or destroy it by trying to drop it. That is it. But alright. So let's go ahead and move forward. And let's go to the other weapons. And let me show you guys more about what we have. So let's get to it. Now, to the crafting weapons. I rolled this, and then this is the roll I got the first time. And I didn't get it on camera. But, I'm going to change it. And I'm going to make it the quad that everybody loves so much. And I'm going to keep the exploding effect on it. And I want to show you guys that it does absolutely nothing that I can see. I don't know... Now, at Angry Turtle, everybody knows, a lot of you guys, if you don't, Angry Turtle usually does a video on these. Like, he goes really in-depth. Now, I don't think he's done it yet, but he probably will go in-depth on this weapon, and you'll find out more. And then, when I find out, I'll let you guys know. But, as of right now, I don't see any change in it. I'm going to switch back between the faster fire and 25 less vats. And the exploding 25 less vats. And the only thing difference is it's faster, of course, and it kills quicker. Now, the exploding effect, there is none. Now, the damage, I don't see any different damage. I've swapped them back and forth. Nothing. It's the exact same. So, there's going to be a hype about the legacies coming back. And for what I've found out so far, putting it on a laser rifle that I'll show you here soon makes it turn into a two star. Shows the mod still exploding. It's on there, but it's a two star. It does absolutely nothing. Now, the faster fire rate, like I said, exact same thing. Just a lot quicker, and that is all. It's doing the exact same thing. So. For exploding, I don't know if that's something that they're going to change. Since they said they are relaxing it. This is the PTS. They want input. And they say it's very critical. Now let's move forward to the railway right. Now. We're going to do the one roll that everybody wants. The quad. We're going to do the 50 crit. 25 less vats. Now we're going to take this out. Which I already have one on me. But I'm just showing you guys it can be created. But we're going to take this out. And we're going to test it. And a shout out to the guy that gave me that quad. Or girl. I don't even know who it was. They just randomly brought it to me. But appreciate the gun. Still love it to this day. But we're going to take it. And we're going to go kill some stuff with it. And I'm going to show you the nerf that it has. And everything with it. So, let's go ahead and move forward. Now, I don't have all my cards on right now. I didn't go back and mess with them. They're off. I've got, I believe, Nerd Rage off. But anyways, so... What we're going to see here... Is that it has a 30% negative reload now. And, if you notice, it shoots a lot slower than actually what it used to do. But the recoil on it is a lot better it has been fixed and I believe that the actual hits are making it 
I also went and took this, you know, fat man, and I made it into a quad, and still one shot. So, like I said, I don't know if they're going to tweak these and let us actually do that. I'm not sure, but it was still a one shot fat man. Now you can do the, you know, two shot if you want, make it a two shot, and then the murder, whatever. But the laser rifle... Here's when I did it. I did this in the PTS, but I didn't do it in the custom. I did it with that mod that I got on a drop. And I changed it. And you notice when I put it on, it made it into a two-star. And it's going to do absolutely nothing different. Which is very, very disappointing. I was really hoping to have my bloodied exploding laser rifle. I really miss it. But it has explosive, but it doesn't show it. So that's still... From the patch when they took out legacies. So it's very disappointing. Like I said, hopefully moving forward into this PTS that they'll adjust it. So data mines from Nuka Knights. Now I went ahead and got these off Nuka Knights website and I will put a link to the article in my description if you would like to go check it out there's a lot more i did not cover in these but i'm gonna go through these this is that tent that you might have heard about this is the new fallout first tent that will be coming and i believe it will be probably one of the best fallout first tents it looks like it has everything there's a tinkers there's a weapons ammo scrap cooking bed everything now, there are some new prefabs that I will be showing. I didn't go into depth with it, so I only did a few photos. But here's a Super Duper Mart catch register, and it looks really nice. Change it up from the other catch registers we have. And here is the Super Duper Mart itself. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to be very big and large, and will probably take a lot of budget. Here is what the inside of the Super Duper Mart looks like. And now here is something we've all wanted. Corner stairs. Yes, you heard me. Stairs that can go in the corner. This will help so many builds. I have so many builds I've wanted to use this one. And we're finally going to get two different types of corner stairs. That is very awesome. So we got a free sign, and I've been waiting a long time for one of these. Be nice to put it at the camp to put it down for people to give away stuff. And then now we have a fireplace incinerator. I love the look at this. And then we got the orthophonic deluxe. I'm not sure if I said that right. It looks like it's just going to be another radio, probably. And to the next, another secret door. I love these. It just changes things up so much. Some people don't know it's even there. It's made to just look like a piece of furniture. Now, it seems like Super Duper Mart is the theme. Because here's some Super Duper Mart lettering. So, I kind of really like that because I, I love Super Duper Mart. So, here's a Mothman weather control station. And here's a Halloween weather control station. Now, I imagine one's going to be for the Mothman event and the other one's going to be for Mischief Night. Now, here's a Red Rocket dumpster, and it seems like this is jumping around on themes. Here's another Red Rocket skin. This is the Red Rocket coffee maker, I believe, or coffee brewer. This next one is a cow spot porch loot bag. So, there's quite a few loot bags I've noticed that's been data mined. This is a mineral extractor, and that's all it says, vault Tech mineral extractor. Now we have the rusted jacko lights. Now, these are probably going to be for Mischief Night, I would imagine, or the new Halloween plans. Then we got a Moonshine Brewing Workbench. I like it when we get new brewing workbenches. I like to change those ones up. We don't get much of them. Now, this is just a backyard chair, but I liked it. it I just figured people could probably do something with this one. And then we have some Jacko Lights. Like I said, more Halloween stuff is coming. We got Mischief Night. Now we got this atomic roller. Now this is great for if you have an arcade theme, you can have another one. And then now we have the Jumpy Juice Company Tea Machine. So that's just another skin. 
but it gives us more options. And it does look good on that table. Now I saved the best for last. The Triumph Terrace Housing Development Shelter. This seems really big. And honestly, it gives me Fallout 4 vibes all over again. I love it. It looks really, really nice. It looks really big. And I can't wait to actually get my hands on this and play with it. Of course, I will make a video on it for you guys. But, let's go ahead and move on to our next part of the video. Mischief Night Returns. This is something I've been waiting a very long time. Now, we had this back in the day, and it was very buggy. I mean, you crashed all the time, you black screen coming in, I mean, the usual. But it was very bad. But to see it come back, it, it, it's amazing. I've been waiting forever. And it's not at White Springs no more, so that's very nice. Here's a video back in the day of me playing. And also keep in mind, this is at the end of the event where you just had to kill the robots that were all mad about us causing havoc throughout White Springs. Basically what you did back then is you ran through White Springs and you had to put graffiti on the wall. You had to blow up cars through White Springs. And I believe there was a few other things you had to do. I can't remember. It's been so long. But at the end, you, you killed that Annihilator right there. And that's how you ended the event. You stopped the boss, basically. But like I said, it was very buggy. Now, this is in the PTS. It's back in the PTS. And... It was in for a few hours and it's already been pulled and let's see why So rich from Bethesda's Discord We hope you're having fun diving into all of the changes that have arrived with today's PTS patch We wanted to let you know that we have seen the crash reports around mischief night And the team has decided to pull the event from rotation while we investigate the issue Hope you have a great weekend We'll let you know when we have more information on the event on when the event will return now what a surprise it's buggy again i mean it's you know it's going to happen we're going to have some issues with it with buggy then it's going to be buggy now but i have faith that they'll get it right it's not at white springs now so that is very very pleasing so it's at rapidan and at rapidan if you notice here's before picture and now here's the after They've turned it into a spooky little place. Now, I don't know if that's going to stay or not, but we shall see. But this is all I have for you, Vault Dwellers. Thank you guys for following along. Thank you for watching. And like always, please subscribe. And you guys have a good day. We'll see you later. Take it easy.